The objective of this station is to mobilize properly and prepare a patient with a possible spinal injury for transport. You've chosen the seated kind, um, and your objective is to immobilize the patient into the proper device. You will choose uh, your patient's conscious alert as a suspected cervical spine injury. Your partner will work under your direction. Please be sure your partner understands and performs according to your instructions. You'll be evaluated individually on your performance and the directions you give to your partner. You have 15 minutes to complete the skill. You'll be stopped at 15 minutes and evaluated on your performance to that point. You can use whatever equipment is available in the station. All equipment preloading or assembly must be part of the time procedure. You may place any materials you need adjacent to your patient. Before you begin, please examine the equipment and assure yourself it's sufficient for your purposes and working properly. Let me know when you're ready to start. Ready, sir. Okay, good luck. Scene safety BSI. I'm going to direct my partner to take inline mobilization of C-spine. Make sure you keep him in a neutral position. I'm going to introduce myself, sir. How you doing? My name is Joe with the ambulance company. Are you okay if I check you out today? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to check for radio pulses, making sure that they're present and equal. Sir, can you feel me touching you? Yes. Does it feel the same on both sides? Yes. Can you squeeze my hands for me? Okay. I'm going to move down to the feet. Shoes would be removed. We're going to check for fetal pulses. Sir, can you feel me touching you? Yes. Feel the same on both sides? Yes. Okay. Can you wiggle your toes for me? All right. So, we have C-spine taken by my partner. We're now going to size and apply a cervical collar. I'm going to measure from the trapezius to the angle of the jaw using my hand. I'm going to measure against my collar, making sure it is properly sized and locked into place. We're now going to come in and going to work around my partner. And we're going to apply this. This would be on bare skin. So as we come around, we're going to scoop this around the neck, make sure we're coming. This is tight. Make sure we can see through the window, and this would be on bare skin, it's in place. I'm gonna come and check again for radio pulses. Sir, can you still feel me touching you? Yes. Same on both sides? Yes. Squeeze my hand? All right. I'm gonna check for pedal pulses. You feel me touching you? Yep. Same on both sides? Yes. And can you wiggle your toes? All right. Now that we have this collar in place, we're going to start to apply our device. I'm going to work around my partner. Slide this around the back. Okay. So keep the C spine on him and put this against him. I'm going to work around you, all right? So when we come in, sir, I'm going to just come under you. I'm going to raise this up. We're going to go one finger breath under the armpit. We're going to take our strap and release it. And then I'm going to put this into play. So, one finger breath, we have it sized up. This is gonna come in, and with a push-pull method, we're gonna secure that. You doing okay, sir? Yes. Okay. Keep it all buckled into place. I'm gonna make sure that they're nice and secure, not to excessively move our patient. Feed the strap. So we want to be snug, help hold it into place. Sir, do me a favor, will you hold these for me? There you go. All right. I'm going to work on the leg straps. So, so these are just going to come under your leg, all right, and they're going to secure up and under the leg. So we're going to make sure these are straight down in the back using the seesaw method not to grossly manipulate the patient. Make sure these are up high. I'm gonna secure the leg strap. You okay there, sir? Mm -hmm. All right. So these should be tight. You may feel uncomfortable, but they shouldn't cause you any pain. Same thing on this side, going straight down, feeding it under the leg, Our seesaw method. So as to not grossly manipulate the patient, confirming this straight down. strap. Are you okay on this side, sir? Mm -hmm. All right. So now that we have these secured, we'll go back and just make sure that these are nice and secure. So, sir, I'm going to have you take a nice deep breath for me. Breathe out. I'm going to secure these. Nice deep breath. On uh, exhalation, we'll just make sure they there. One finger breath and one more deep breath for me, sir. Okay. So now we have these secure. One finger breath. And you can relax it for me, sir. What we're going to do now is I'm gonna work with my partner and we're gonna secure the head. 
So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to come, secure the head flaps, you're going to slide your hand out and then place them over the head flap. Okay, ready? Lean into the patient for me. I'm going to minimize the void. I'm taking this side, this side. All right, so we have not released really C-spine. There's no voids. Everything's tight to the patient. I'm now going to secure with straps. Coming under the chin, not causing deformity to the collar. Okay, I'm coming over the forehead. My partner's going to continue to hold inline mobilization. We're going to check these SMs one more time. Good radial pulses, equal on both sides. You feel me touching you, sir? Mm -hmm. And can you still squeeze my hands? All right. Moving down to the feet. Checking for pedal pulses. You feel me touching you? Mm -hmm. All right. And can you wiggle your toes for me? All right, so we still have positive CSMs. At this time, my partner can release in line of mobilization. We're going to secure the patient to the longboard. We're going to release the leg straps, secure them with straps and head blocks to the longboard, transport them to the hospital, and transfer care to an equal higher healthcare provider.